We all know climate change is an imminent and pressing issue. According to leading climate experts like Dr. Deborah Brosnan, if nothing changes, we will likely approach the point of no return by 2030. That is eight years from now. Now, I know what you might be thinking right now. I recycle. I have reusable water bottles and metal straws now, and hell, I've even been to a few climate marches. I'm just a 20-something-year-old kid. What more can I really do? While those everyday individual choices do matter, if the natural world is really to be saved, we need drastic changes and reformations in the governmental policies and corporate practices that are responsible for the pollution we see on a larger scale. Did you know that the 2017 Carbon Majors report found that 71% of total global emissions are caused by just 100 companies alone? Or that it takes over a gallon to produce a single almond? How about the fact that I need this much water to make this many plastic water bottles? Add on the fact that we use around 1.2 million plastic bottles every 60 seconds and only recycle around 9% of them. And you can see that me and my hydro flask are gonna need a little help. See, individuals can't stop the climate crisis on their own, but together we can change companies. Because the only reason companies are still getting away with this stuff is because we keep supporting them and buying their products. We need to change what we buy to change how companies run. And yes, this will require both time and money two resources that college students are often running low on. Time is required to put in the research on companies, brands, and industries to find the ones that are actually practicing sustainability and working to end the climate crisis. This isn't always easy either. Companies may sometimes look sustainable from the outside, but beware of greenwashing. Take H&M for example. They have a clothing recycling program in which people can bring in their old clothes and they will be recycled and made into new ones. Seems sustainable, right? In theory, maybe, but in reality, H&M's own sustainability performance report found that less than 1% of their recycled clothing was actually recycled into new clothing. Doing the research may not be so bad though. An awesome resource I found is an organization called Good On You. They are dedicated to providing information on brands, ethical, and environmental standings. Simply search the brand you're looking for and you can learn about how they rank in sustainable practices. Money is also required to support the brands and companies that are truly working towards sustainability. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I hate to say it, but typically, the lower the price tag, the worse it is for Mother Earth. But there are other options to stay sustainable without breaking the bank. Thrift shopping is a no-brainer. Easy on the wallet and easy on the earth. Plus, you can always find cool stuff from the 80s. So I know it's tempting to make the cheaper and easier and often less sustainable choices, but the green in your wallet isn't gonna matter if there's no green left in the world. So let's put our money where our mouth is, Badgers, and save our futures and our home. <laughs>